All right guys, Austin Thompson here. I'm gonna do a little haircut on this mannequin. So just a little breakdown of what we've done. So we've got a section that runs from here, all the way around to here, yeah? And then same on the other side. So it's got a curvature on it. It's just below the round of the head and it is a curved section like this. And then what we've taken is this section all the way through the top. And what we're gonna create is a shag. <laughs> what we're gonna create is a shag. Sorry, it's hard for me to say that because in Scotland, shag isn't always a haircut. <laughs> a bang's not always a fringe. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna create a layer that runs following the head shape all the way around. The longer you leave it, the softer it is, the shorter you leave it, the stronger it is. Okay, and then we are gonna like disconnect into the sides. Okay, let's start in this front section. Let's comb this forward. I'm gonna mark a section through the middle and that's gonna be my guide. Okay, so we're going to start in that middle section that we've just taken, all right? What's really important when we're hairdressing is that we keep the elbows wide, that'll help with the discipline. Just so we want to keep everything with a square shape in our arms, all right? Now half the section, extend that into the section at the front, but remember, the head follows this shape, right? So the first section is up here, but the next section is then over here. So it's coming straight out from the head, yeah? Yeah, no angles, no over directing. So always cut above the knuckle because you can't really get any tension in this bit because there's always that weird gap, you know. Okay, so the first section is running this direction. So the next section we are going to take is here. Okay, and then when we're cutting this, we are lifting the hair also straight up like that, yeah but on top of the new section that we've just taken. So here, to find the guideline. Ah. Oh. As we work around the head, what you should feel is this elbow should become a little bit higher and this elbow should point down the ground. One section, two section, three section, four sections, maybe five. As we start to work around the head shape, this is the angle that you will lift your hair out to here, yeah? So we're working on the curvature of the head this way, and we're working on the curvature of the head that way. Find your guideline. Once we've done that, always make sure we're performing a cross check. A cross check is when, when you cut your section this way, you go back this way and you just check it. I'm not too worried about the outline just now because the outline is always part of the finishing technique. So that is the point where you refine that and make it work. What we are looking for just now is the structure because if there's one thing that you can take away from this video or any education is that structure and how you cut the hair is ultimate because that's what gives hair the longevity and that's what gives it the ability for somebody to be able to manage it themselves at home which is obviously key right so i'm going to work through the other side doing exactly the same thing so find your original section from the start which will be almost in the middle nice and wide Right, so now what we are going to do is we are going to connect in this middle section around the crown. So again, working 
on the head shape. So the head is on a curve here. So we want to come out like this. I know sometimes when I'm teaching young people, they feel like there's too much hair. So it's sometimes a good idea to get that hair out of the way. Oh, now we've got as a guideline here. Have that section, continue that down from the back. Okay, so we're following the head shape. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to let down that bottom section through the back, all right? Okay, so continue that into the previous section. So pull that straight from the head. Yeah. Now rather than following the head shape through here, I'm still going to continue and keep that on a square line. So that we keep all the length on that bottom section. So it's a round layer through here and then it squares a little bit through the bottom. So pull out vertical here. What that will do is give you a maximum and a real even amount of like texture and density through the hair. Just by the way, if you are doing this haircut, what you will find is because you've got that underneath bit clipped away and you cut the top section first and that drops down, then at some point for the haircut, your guest or your client is going to have a really short bob. And that can be a really good thing because you can get the chance to see if that looks amazing on the client and brings out the cheekbones or you can gauge by their body language if they hate that, but you have to reassure that when this bit underneath comes out, their length is still going to be there. Okay, just a side note there. Let me know in the comments below which part of the world you are watching from, because I'd be interested to hear if salons are open where you are, or if they are still closed. Because they're still closed in Scotland, and they are going to be for another almost two blooming months. Okay, so here, yeah, you see this little bit of length? On this, I'm going to point cut that length, okay? Then my next section, pivot in behind the ear again. Now the next section, you don't really need to pick up the guideline for this point because we pick up the guideline from above but not necessarily from behind. Okay, elevate this straight from the head. And then in here, we're going to point cut. You can see we have guideline from above and then the old structure from the previous haircut. So how we want to connect this is slide beyond. Yep, keep the tension and then we will find this little section here and we're going to use the heel of the scissors and we're going to saw cut through this and allow the length to drop out, okay? Because you just use this part of the thumb inside the scissors, when it comes to doing this, then you can really flip that round so you're not using the wrist, you've got full mobility in your scissors. Oh man, that feels so good to be doing this again. But when you're evolving that haircut that was a bob, what you are doing is you are keeping a lot of the length, so the length is all the same and that's the one key thing the worst thing you can do is cut someone's hair too short. Haircut, but if you've done this haircut on someone and it's worked well and they've quite liked it, there's no reason why the next time you can't take it shorter. Still keep my length, point cut. Pulling your fingers out, finding the guideline, making sure our scissors are pointing down the hair. And blend out that corner. Cool. So if you want to see how we would progress that to something a little bit more aggressive, then get subscribed, hit the notification bell, and you'll get notified when I upload it, because that will be the next video. And see you in the next video.